There is something that stops everybody from stopping drinking. I'm not just talking about most people. This is what stops every single person from stopping drinking. Once I removed this thing from my life, it was a done deal. I never looked back. I haven't touched a drop of alcohol for five and a half years after 10 years of trial and error. I got rid of just one thing and it changed everything. And guess what we're going to do in this video? We are going to remove the one thing that you need to get rid of from your life forever. We're going to break it down in this video. And trust me, once you see what it is and how to get through this final barrier, it's game over. You are going to live the best life that you've ever lived. Now, just before we get into the video, if you want my personal help stopping drinking in the Sober Clear program, where we use first principles thinking and we use coaching and really focus on the future. So you're not doing it on your own. There's accountability. We've got a completely different way of doing things. If you want details on that, you can click the link in the description and you can book a short phone call. We can jump on a call together and see if working together could be a good match. So if you want details, either go to soberclear.com or just go ahead and click the link down below. But as I was saying before, there is one thing that you need to get rid of from your life. And hey, I'm not saying you need to get rid of certain friends. Nope. I'm not saying you need to get rid of going to certain bars or places, or I'm not going to say that you need to skip the alcohol aisle in the, uh, in the supermarket or the grocery store. Nah, it's not that. It's something completely different. The thing that we're going to break down is nothing more than a feeling. And you might have already guessed it, but what holds 99, no, 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 not even 99, every single person back from stopping drinking and living a great life is fear. I'm, I promise you, there's, there's seriously nothing else to it. People are afraid that if they remove alcohol from their life, something's going to be worse. They're not going to be able to deal with stress. They're not going to be able to socialize the same way anymore. Just something bad is going to happen as a result of removing alcohol from their life. So what they do is they live their life with this feeling of fear forever. And even if they're able to get rid of alcohol, they still have this fear. They still have this fear that if they go out to a bar, maybe they're going to drink. Maybe they're going to, you know, just fall back into it. Or they have a fear that they're just missing out on something all the time. So this plagues most people. It plagues every single person that's still drinking because if they didn't have that fear, they wouldn't drink. But it also plagues a lot of people that have removed alcohol from their life. If you're able to get rid of this fear and only if that's when it becomes easy. That's when it becomes the most enjoyable thing you've ever done in your life. If you're able to overcome the fear, just think about this for a second. Do you think that you've been designed to consume an addictive drug? Do you think that you've been designed to, you know, you, you know, you want to relax and chill out and to do that, you need to consume a drug. Listen, if that was the case, we would have been wiped out years ago. We would never have evolved. I, I don't know when we were, we were cavemen or whatever. And I know people are going to say alcohol has been around for thousands of years, whatever. Listen, if, if we were cavemen and we needed alcohol to survive, we would have been smoked a long time ago. We don't need a drug to live a great life. We don't need a drug to get through a difficult time of our life. We don't need a drug to relax after a hard day of work. We don't need a drug to socialize. Yet everybody lives with this fear that if they remove it, they're going to be in a worse place. It's madness. It makes no sense. Listen, I'm going to say something right now, and you truly need to take me on face value. There is a life that exists where you don't drink and you don't want to drink. And I know for most people, even some of you guys that watch these videos that are already sober, you listen to that and you're like, nah, Leon, it's impossible. But I want you to take a second right now and ask yourself about this fear. What are you scared of? What are you afraid of? And that's a hard question to answer. In fact, I bet most people have just clicked off the video right now going, ah, nah, nah, goodbye. But if you can ask yourself, what am I afraid of? Then you can start really identifying the beliefs that you have around alcohol. What a great question. What am I afraid of here? Am I truly afraid that if I go out with my friends, it's just not going to be the same? What evidence do I have to support this? Because all the fears that we have, do you know what fear is? Is, is nothing more than your imagination. It's nothing more than being afraid of the future. We, we make up these scenarios that it's going to be worse off. Not that it is worse off right now, that it's going to be in the future. So we just live with this fear. But if you're able to start seeing these beliefs, seeing what you're actually afraid of. That's when you can start breaking these beliefs down. You can really start doing the introspection, really asking yourself, where are these ideas coming from? This is the process that I take people through. We use something called first principles thinking to break these beliefs down. But this fear, it plagues society. It isn't just you. It's not just me because I was afraid as well. It's everybody. And I want to tell you something right now. You who've clicked on this video, you who's watching this right now, wherever you are, at home, watching this on your phone, in your lounge, on your computer. If you've clicked on this video, you have got nothing to fear. I promise you, you've got absolutely nothing to fear if you remove alcohol from your life and you live a life without drinking. Ah, do you know what? Maybe you do have something to fear. Maybe you will have to fear all your friends coming up to you saying, how did you do it? How are you looking so good? How have you lost those extra pounds? Why do you seem to have more energy? Why are you nicer to be around? You might have to deal with promotions at work. You might have to deal with making more money 
clients coming to you, attracting better things into your life. You might need to worry about having a better quality relationship with your significant other. But when it comes to living a life without alcohol, you have nothing to fear. And sure, those things I was talking about before, obviously it's satire, right? You don't need to fear these things because these are the great things that will happen in your life when you remove the fear, when you say, I'm going to stop living my life afraid and you're going to just step forward on a path where you don't drink and you're going to stick on that path. And when you stick on it for months and months and months, I'm not talking about stopping drinking for a few days. I'm saying when you string together a prolonged period of time without alcohol, you won't even recognize yourself. I've seen it happen before. People that have, you know, they've started working with me. They've get, we've got on a phone call together and I'm looking on the, on the other end of the Zoom call, right? So we're on a Zoom call, a video call, and I can see somebody there, there's a shell of themselves. They're stressed, they're anxious, they don't feel good about themselves. They know that what they're doing is stupid, but they're afraid. And they take a leap of faith. And I speak to those people six months later, a year later, and they're like, Leon, I, I just don't understand it. it, it and I'm seeing this completely different person sat in front of me. They're like, Leon, I, I, was, I was afraid for so long, but there was truly nothing to be afraid of. I've worked with close to 400 people now. Not a single person has ever come back to me and said, oh, Leon, do you know those fears that I used to have about alcohol? They were right. Not a single one. Yeah, do you know what? There might be a little bit of apprehension the first time they go to a social event without alcohol, but that's literally it. Maybe the first, second time. And then before you know it, the reference experience is built up where they realize that those fears that they've been telling themselves for years weren't true. You've got nothing to be afraid of absolutely nothing to be afraid of. I promise you, it's all going to work out in the end. And if you want to learn three secrets to getting in control of your drinking, please click the video on the screen right now.